The question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do. Don't say we're not going to take the car home. Please don't say we're not going to take the car home. Please don't. If you had access to a car like this, would you take it back right away? Neither would I. Museum of Science and Industry. There's two guys standing there doing nothing, uh, but watching people punch the ticket. $22 to park here, just to park. $30 a ticket. I am not going to the Museum of Science and in in Industry today. My family's going. I've been there already five times, but I'm not going. I'm going across the street to the park and beach to do radio. I find uh, what I'm doing more interesting. I would say this is my favorite museum probably of any in the world that I've ever been to. So what it is is Chicago sits on the lake, Lake Michigan, and it's right over there. It's We are way far south of the city. Up further north about 10 miles is the real city and we came from there. We're gonna do some more stuff later. So from the museum to cross this major road, Lakeshore Drive, I have to find a tunnel that goes under, underneath so I can cross the road safely. Done a good job of allowing pedestrians to cross the road. That's where I'm at right now, headed towards the lake. City trash can. Blows into the water. Looking around, I'm thinking this tree operating right here, right off the lake. Uh, I could walk down there, but that's a good 100 yard walk. Or I could go down there, that's a 100 yard walk. A lot of extra work. Why not just stop right here? This is to do. Okay, I think I found a spot. Um, this is my new chair bag I got at Goodwill for $3.95. Real simple, I'll be doing more videos with this probably. It's just a big bag, it's a backpack, and it's a big bag, backpack, two pockets, that's all it is. I'm debating whether or not to set up my bigger antenna, the 41 foot, or the just the little wire. I don't know if I want to go into a tree with all these people around. I don't know. Found some shade though, so I'll be sitting kind of in the shade off the lake. And my goal is to make one CW contact or and or one phone contact. Beautiful day.
Okay, let's do the setup. So what I've got, unloaded everything. I try to keep everything kind of a low profile. I don't have like equipment everywhere. I've got the pack tenna right here. Just hooked it on a branch. It's going up here. Okay, so I have it on a branch here so I can apply tension to it. These holes on here are real nice. Everything is there. The antenna itself, what's really good about these thin wires is that they're very stealthy. Like from a distance there's no way. No one even notices them. So, I mean, you don't want to be noticed really when you're out because people are afraid of terrorism and all sorts of things. And so I try to keep a real low profile. I've also learned to keep the ropes out of the way. So I have it kind of over here um, to the side in case someone walks here. That may not even be the best. It may need to be over by the tree because there's a trail right here. Um, the efforts you take in the beginning can save you problems later. Someone freaking touches your wire or something. So I'm going to move it actually. Move it over here. Use is this frequency in use? CQ, 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 November 9, Yankee Oscar, CQ, CQ, N9, YO, CQ, CQ. CQ, CQ, N9, YO, CQ, CQ, N9, YO. CQ, QRP, CQ, QRP, N9, YO, CQ, CQ, N9, YO, CQ, QRP. And this is why it's good to have a chair. I heard someone, but then it's very faint, and then I tried to call him, and now I'm waiting. Um, I'll go over what he said. He said, Happy Memorial Day. Uh, I'm a 579. His name is Hank. Harwinton, Connecticut, right here on the lakeshore. I'm super happy that I at least made one contact. I'm going to get up and stretch. I'm getting more and more comfortable with CW, especially at a slow speed. Um, I pulled this tight, but it's starting to droop somewhat. Um, sometimes I worry when there's lots of branches and leaves that it'll be real hard to get out, but actually, as long as there's no knots, it will just slide. It should slide right out. 
I'm gonna go add some tension and then get down and try to make a phone contact. Uh, my kid and my wife are at the museum right now. It's been about an hour. I'm just chilling here in the shade. I realized that I have a chair. I was like, why wasn't I using it? So now I have a chair and a table. It all worked out great and I'm in the shade. These are the kind of problems you have to work out no matter where you are, whether it's in a big city or whether in the woods, you know? You just gotta work out the problems and um, I really like how thin this wire is. It's very stealth, you know, there's people everywhere and you just don't wanna attract a lot of attention. The band is going like this, up and down. So maybe we'll have a 10 meter opening tonight. Yeah, Roger. I've tried calling CQ over and over. Nobody responds. Nobody. All up and down, uh, 14 megahertz. I cannot get anyone to respond. Um, I think someone heard me when I tried to break in, but then they started talking, and so I don't know. If it's me or if people just don't answer CQs with if they don't know the person. Okay, everything packed up. Unfortunately, I only made one contact. CW. I'm gonna do my make sure you zip everything up or it'll fall out. I'm gonna do my obligatory walk around. Make sure I didn't drop my wallet or something. So, fortunately, I only got one contact. It sucks. Um, I'm gonna have to experiment with better antennas. I think QRP. I think the Pac-10 is cool. Um, I think it's easy to use, but I don't think it's good enough. That's just my impressions. I think the Pac-10 is designed for ultra lightweight backpacking. Either that, or the bands are dead, or it's possible nobody answers CQs on phone anymore. Is that true? I don't know. I can't get anyone, I couldn't get anyone with 100 watts to answer me, hardly. Um, but I couldn't get, I can't get anybody to answer me on phone at all. I have made one contact, so I know it does work. I made a, a pretty good cue so yesterday, but um, anyway, it's beautiful here. I'm headed back to pick up the family. They are done at the Science and Industry Museum. We're gonna go have our Ferris Bueller day. My kid wants to go to the top of the Sears Tower and see where Ferris Bueller put his head against the window.